Hello everybody, welcome back to FM 2020, I am TW1, I am the manager of York City and we are in the third season, I believe this is episode 9 if I'm correct and today we have some semi-final action in the FA Trophy up against ARC Telford from the last episode you would have saw us beat the Crusaders 3-0 in the Wafer Cup final getting our first trophy of the season one out of three in the non-league treble. Let's see if we can continue that today with a victory over ARC Telford and get ourselves a spot in the AFC, in the FA Trophy final, should I say. Mixed all over words. Since the last game, we've only had one game because it's been a quick little turnaround. On the Tuesday night, we were away to Flyde and we won 1-0 with a very heavily rotated side. If you look at the team, King, Spratt, Young, Maloney, McLaughlin, Kempster. None of them exactly first team players. But they got the job done. 1-0 away from home to 9th in the league. And with that result, we are now officially in a playoff position. We are also 15 points clear with 8 games to go. So 8 times 3 is 24. We need to really throw away a lot of points not to win this league right now. So... I'm quietly confident we've got two trophies in the bag. Uh, so this competition, the FA Trophy, is the final one to tick off, really. So let's jump into the game. Like I said last episode, we did play ARC Telford earlier in the season. We played them in the FA Cup fourth round qualification round, and we beat them 2-0. Uh, Mooney were the goals in this game. This is the side we are going to be going with. Not with Jameson on the bench, though. Get off the bench, Jameson. I don't, I don't care about you on the bench. You got a good rating for somebody who plays like four games a season. Well done, son. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why, why is no? We're gonna play Estrada over Maloney and CDM, and this is the side we're gonna go with. I consider this my first eleven now. I feel like I'm very comfortable with it. McFarlane hasn't broke into the side ahead of Aho, and I do want to try and pick Aho up if I can. But as you can see, he's got a little bit of interest from some bigger clubs than us. So maybe a little bit of a fight. He's extremely interested to join us, though, which is good for us. So, yeah, team selection is in. Let's get the teams warming up and get into the semi-final first leg. Away from home first, at home for the second leg. I just want a nice little comfortable 1-0 win, really. Something like that. Just taking the away lead. I'm not sure if away goals are a thing in this competition. We shall find out. They are unbeaten in the last five games, but they are a league below us. I'm con I'm convinced we can end that run, though, today. We can go and end their run, and we can smash them out of the competition, and then smash our way into the final and try and get the treble all done. Let's get into the action, and let's not commentate the opening highlight, because the opening highlight is Awful. We are away at Telford in the first leg in the pouring rain, which could always make things a little bit fruity. Um, last game out, I did notice that I, Josh King, despite having a great rating apparently over the few games, was playing some awful balls because he was trying to replicate Oliver on that right hand side and I had to change him to a central defender instead of playing a ball playing defender because I forgot to do it. And he had one passing and he was just making bad mistakes. Anyway, let's get into the action and actually commentate on the game because they have got a good little bit of play going so far. And Harrison on the front hand side has the chance at 1 1 with Ferguson. Plays it back to Riley. Uh, Riley again, little ball down the line is on. They're just pinging the ball about. That's a good ball over the top. And their striker's got there. He is offside. That is a warning sign for us, though. They were playing it around quite comfortably in this back area. We didn't exactly press very well. Ben probably should be doing a little bit better. But he is offside by a smidge. Well done by the defence for having a good line. That is a warning sign for us. We're playing against that cautious 4-4-2. Which can cause us some issues. Let's get creative boys. Let's try and just get a foothold on this possession. It's not going our way at all is it? No, I think we're going to come off positive and drop the balance. Just try and just take the sting out of this game and settle into it. It is 180 minutes. We don't need to rush. We just need to take take it throughout nice and slowly. Aho with a little header there. Good save by O'Brien. 
Uh, yeah, it's just a weird little start. We're doing better on possession now, but we've had more shots on target. Opening 15 minutes. Hasn't exactly been great so far, though. A couple of boys are motivated, and that is a great little shout. They are very happy about that. We just can't get a foothold when it comes to possession. This wet surface is not playing us. They're not doing us any favour, should I say. Ferguson to Estrada, though. Here's Ben. Back to Estrada. Nice little ball to Marich. That's a lovely little ball through the gap. The hill. Cross in to Aho. Oh, he's in top corner. 22nd goal of the season for Nelson Aho. Assist from Thomas Hill. And that is a cracking, cracking header from Aho. I have noticed he's been very good at them headers this season. And that is really, really good to see. Another good cross from Hill on his right-hand side. Aho peels off his marker, running away from goal and heads the ball back into top corner. By O'Brien's reaction, I would guess he wasn't exactly too happy with that. Look, he's right there and then, oh, last second, d dips away from the defender. Gets himself the half a yard for the header and finds top goal. Top corner, should I say? Top goal scorer. He's not top goal scorer by a mile. Mooney is top goal scorer. He's absolutely cruising. And as we uh, as we talk about Mooney, there's going to be no Mooney O meter in this episode. What's the point? He's played like one game. I can't judge him on one game. That's just outrageous. And he didn't even play in the game. So I literally have nothing to judge Mooney on. So Mooney O meter will wait until next episode. This episode, though, and this game. Is a bit of a dull affair. I said I'll take a 1-0 win by the start of the game. That is true, but I do want a little bit more action than this. Hill, header away. Nightingale, good dribble, beats Hill for pace. Cross in, Harrison with the header and he scored. Jordan Harrison has pulled one back for Telford. It is 1-1 in the 36th minute in this game. Uh, my dog is whining at my door, so I need to let him out. I'll be back in a second. That was like five minutes for you. Well, five minutes for me. One second for you. I just had to let him out for a little little piddle because he wanted a wee wee. So we can let him out for that. Now we can get back into the FM action. Dogs over gaming. As much as I love gaming, dogs over gaming. Of course, Nightingale up against Hill again on his left-hand side. Another chance to get the ball in. Decides not to. Drops it down to White. Good ball over the top for Scott. That's a cracking save by OJ and he holds it well in the rain as well. We've been the better side since stats would suggest, but we do need to kind of turn up the wick a little bit and take control of this game. Hill is getting beaten down that outside a couple of times, which is concerning. Clearly Nightingale is a decent player. Let's have a little look at him, see if I can get anything. Lots and lots of pace and he's right-footed only. We might have to start doing some opposition instructions. I don't do opposition instructions very often, but it does look like something that we might do. Tackling, we are going hard on him. And no, no, don't don't tight mark him, because that's no point of that. And to show him on his left foot, and that should help that one out, shouldn't it? Yeah, we will do that. And now we'll go to the dressing room for a little chat with the boys. Um, I don't really know what to say we've been the better side baby i'm just going to say the media card just give them the media card and then we'll have a little bit more green as we give the boys some happiness and praise them say so they've uh, they've got the ability to do it which they do and they have proven all season and telford being a team from a lower division we should be able to romp all over them if we get the chance just they are in very very good form so their confidence is up, and confidence is very important in this game. Now, Ferguson with the throw in on his left hand side to Ben. Back to Ferguson, into Aho, into Ben. Can swing it in with left paper, not, decides not to. Now, Ben loses out to Riley, smashes it down the line, and that is out for a throw in at the end of that highlight. 47 minutes played with just a refusal to get the ball in the box. There was a little concerning for Ferguson and Ben. I just like one of them just to swing their foot through it. Whip the ball into the box. Both of them are playing a 6.5. So clearly not having the greatest of games. These two centre mids. Looks like I maybe have to make a change. For 55 minutes played. Just try and liven up the midfield a little bit. We'll bring on Maloney for Ben. Maloney has got some great passing stats. He's not very good when it comes to flaring going forward. But his passing and vision is very good. And hopefully he can unlock this defence that Telford have put up against us. It's been very good so far, Telford. 
we just have to try and unlock them and create a chance for our strikers. That's a long ball from Maloney to Mooney, who goes for it early. He beats the goalkeeper but smashes the post. That was better. That was more direct from Maloney. And I really appreciate that. Good effort by Maloney. Corner in. Zitto with the header away. Mooney collects. Finds Maric. Mayer. We're going backwards here, boys. That is a great idea of a ball, but doesn't quite make it. And Nightingale heads clear. Hill with a throw in straight away. Mooney. Maric inside the box. Gets the ball across to Aho. It's a battle, it's a scramble. Ferguson keeps it alive and flashes it back in. And Aho's header is just wide. That was a couple of decent half opportunities for us with the shots are starting to show. And it's time to maybe crank up the wick and go positive. And see if we can really pile the pressure on this Telford side. Their fitness levels are starting to drop. We're starting to take control because we've rested properly. Ferguson with a free kick, blocked by the wall. Now he's trying to cross with his right peg. That's never going to go well. And that is out for a corner. Maloney with the whip. In towards Aho at back post. Falls for Mooney. Blocked. Marich with a long range blast is blocked. And now it's 2v2 at the back. Developing well. We've got an extra guy man to make it 3v3. Back to Zito. End of the highlights. So they obviously made nothing out of that. They've only had three shots this game. All three on target. We've had 11 on target so far. Can we do, we... do we go for it? Do we try and win the game here? Or do we take it home and say we'll do it at home? Well, I'm going to bring Nathan Dyer on. And I think I might bring on McFarlane like as well. Mooney, the man who doesn't enjoy big matches. I've gave him a shot in this semi-final. And he has not performed so far. So it's time for Carl McFarlane. The cup final... Specialist, he scored in the cup final against the Crusaders last episode. That's a chance for him to come off the bench to win this first leg of this semi final tie. Ferguson ball down the line to Aho. Aho with a chance one of one. That's poor. That's really, really poor from Nelson Aho. He has way more time than that. Take another step. Take another touch, control it, slow it down a little bit more, pick a corner, slot it in. He does neither of that, he slashes across it in the rain and the wet weather. He's doing Aho no favours there. Making it useless for Aho, really, he should just do better, really. With a shout to demand more for the final five minutes of this game. We have got another 19 minutes of action coming up straight away after this, though. Got one game in between that I'll play off screen and we'll get straight to the second leg. Dyer with the ball to get it in. He found Aho. He found bottom corner. That's 2-1. And it looks like we'll be taking a lead into our home leg. And the second leg of the tie. We are going to be in control. It's all because of Nelson Aho. And his cool, calm finish. That's a cracking cross from Nathan Dyer. Low zipping across the wet surface. And Aho does really well to guide it towards bottom corner. He doesn't flash at it. He doesn't flash at it at all. Just slots it calmly into bottom corner. And that is the kind of composure that we need from our big Loney striker. In on loan from Port Vale. Maloney now. Can we add a third? Can we really? McFarlane. He's away. McFarlane. Oh, great save by O'Brien. White smashes it out. He's trying to waste time there, ref. Have a word. Maloney. Wasting time a little bit. Maloney with the ball in. Looking for McFarlane at that post. O'Brien with a great hold. Great, great hold. I'm going to shout to Mar Moore as well because they reacted really well to these shouts this game. Not exactly a great reaction. Chance of Telford to grab another one back. Nightingale trying to get the cross in. Zimba! He's in the post! Dyer hooks it away. Oh, late drama here. It should have been 2 2, you think. But it's not going to be. Ball to Baines. It looks like the end of the game, surely. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Get me out of this rain. We're finally out of this rain. We're in the dressing room. And the game is over. Nelson Aho with the man of the match performance. A goal in each half separates the side. 2-1 in the first leg. 
I'll give a little shout to the boys and I'll catch you for the second leg in just a second. Here we go then, back for the second leg against Telford. I'll just quickly run you through what happened against Maidenhead. A 4 0 victory, very comfortable in the end. Marich with two goals within two minutes, a penalty, and then a lovely volley from him. David Ferguson with a lovely free kick from range adds a fourth. And then Carl McFarlane gets, I think it's his 11th of the season, with a nice little volley as well from a set piece. So, very, very good all in all. So, now let's jump into the match as you can see by the lead table very quickly though we are top of the table with two games in hand 12 points ahead as well it's it's game over we've already got playoffs secured i think it's only a couple of games and then we'll have the league secured as well so very happy with that so now we can jump into the telford game big big chances here so, I'm going to try and go with the same team that we played in the cup final, if you remember. Mainly because a lot of these players, they are big game players and they enjoy big games. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to drop a couple of players. Mooney being one of them, David Ferguson being the other, because they're not comfortable in big matches. So, let's get into the action. Same 4-4-2 we are up against. A little shout to the boys. Come on, boys. Um, what do we want to say? What do we want to say? Media is giving us a lot of... Uh, 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 we should be winning this, so expect nothing. Expect nothing, and, you know, I expect nothing but a win, should I say. So, yeah, let's get into this, and let's not commentate the opening highlight, because it normally is a bit meh, unless Calder can actually do something with the ball here. Harrison, good tackle by Marich. Still Calder, though. Please don't concede a goal in, like, a minute. Don't do it, game. Don't do it to me. Please end the highlight. Oh, it's a lovely little triangle football. Look at that. They're just taking the mick out of marriage. Poor guy. Ooh, finally. We uh, we get away from that. I thought we were going to concede really early on. Not to be in panic mode. Zito with the free kick. Over towards. Sahara brings it down quite easily. No real pressure. Baines. McGuinness. Just simple football so far. Back to OJ. Really, really slow, patient build-up from us so far. Baines, back to OJ again. We're just trying to control the game, it seems. Come on, players. We need to do something a little bit more aggressive than this. Hill, now we turn on the burners. And McFarlane is away. Oh, he's been brought down. Referee has a pen in it. It is guessing. Humphreys has made an absolute howler there. And Adam Marich has the chance to score from the penalty spot. I'm not going to take him off penalties. He's been cracking with penalties so far, so... Oh, yeah, definitely not taking out our marriage off the penalties. Here we go. Get in. We are 3-1 up in this cup tie on aggregate. 1-0 up in the game. And Adam our marriage has 18th goal of the season from centre mid. He's been very, very good. I'm really, really happy with Adam our marriage. He's now interested. He's now got some interest from Ipswich Town as well as Ishmael Ben. Ben has some interest from Ipswich Town as well, so... A League One side interested in our centre mids. Hopefully we can keep hold of them in the summer. Despite not having great star ratings, I do really think they're great players and they perform well in our tactic and that's the main point. No real highlight for a little while though. We're ticking into 15 minutes. Well, it's quite an easy, comfortable, little boring spell there. That helps us out a little bit, doesn't it? Hill to Marich. Hill again. Crosses in, Sahara, McFarlane, what a save. What a cracking save that is from O'Brien. Another corner, come on Hill, deliver another good ball in. Humphreys with a header away, McFarlane keeps it alive. Over to Ben. Do something with the ball, Baines tries to take on the defender one on one. He is a centre back and you can tell because he got tackled by Harrison. Now it's a chance to counter attack for Telford. Nightingale, well done Estrada. Good tackle, good tackle indeed. Ben with a free kick. Yeah, I yeah, I do like Ferguson on free kick over Ben. It's just Ferguson's not fully fit for this game. And Sahara is better mentally, so Sahara is in. So we've got no real free kick taker on the pitch. Burgess with the ball in. Good headed chance for Nightingale. Oh, that's a scramble. And now he's, oh, hum, ref, give Humphreys a second. Yeah, he just kicked McGuinness for no reason, man. He's got going. He... Oh, not another free kick. Oh, well, well held, OJ. Well held, OJ. Right, 
we want some more, more out of this team. This game is not over yet. Telford have given us a couple of little warning signs. And they are beating us on the possession as well so far. So we need to try and crank it up a little bit if we can. Another long spell without any real highlights. That is nice as well though. Let the game ticking down as we are still two goals up in this tie and aggregate. Finally, we have another highlight in the 38th minute. Aho is away. That's a good long ball for Baines. Oh, good save by the keep. One on one chance there for Aho. Could have made it 2 0 up in this game. 4 1 in the aggregate would have been probably the killer goal, really. Next goal might be very decisive in this tie because if they get it, it's going to be a, a one goal game again. It's going to be very, very tight. Hill with the ball now, though. Finds marriage. We're going the wrong way, guys. Oliver. Big switch with his left peg. Doesn't make it to Sahara. Nightingale and Riley play some nice little football. Good pressure and Zito kicks long. It's Estrada will win that all day long. Now Oliver again with the ball. McGuinness tries to find Hill on this right hand side. Misses that pass. We're trying to force the ball out wide, but it's not exactly going well for us. Here is Marich though. Back to McGuinness again. Just keeping control of the ball. We just need to be better. Oh, Oliver! Oliver, what have you done? Chance their striker. Oh, OJ's positioning is all over the place there, but he gets the save, and that will do for me. Ben isn't having the greatest of games, I have noticed. I have noticed Ben's not playing exactly great, so we may have to bring him off at half-time. OJ. We are playing very, very passive around the back. Now Ben, I see that's another poor ball into midfield and it's stolen off our toe. We're very, very good at keeping the ball at the back, but we can't do anything with it. Here is Riley down the right-hand side. Zagari. Ball to that striker. Here's Harrison. Now Calder. Long down the line. Well done, Oliver. That's cool. Carbon clay calculated back to OJ. And Aho wins that. And Aho with a great little touch is half away here. Aho, can he all the way? Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Nelson Aho nearly with a great solo effort there. Highlights aren't over in this half though because here's Hill. Marich. Ball into the box towards Aho. That would have been one hell of a header from the edge of the box. Just over the crossbar. Unlucky from Aho. We are now into half time. Stats are very much even though. No idea what to say to the boys here though. Absolutely no idea what to say. I suppose don't look at the scoreboard. That's the best one to say, isn't it, surely? Yeah, get them focused. And Should we take Ben off? I'm going to take Ben off as well. He's not been playing well. He's played poorly against this team two games in a row. So he's going to bring Maloney on again. Try and use his passing and vision to unlock the other defence. Unlock Telfer's defence. Because he is good at long-range passes. So here's McGuinness. Looking for Aho. This is probably a kick-off highlight. But we'll commentate it just in case. Here is Maloney. Out to Sahara. Get the ball into the box. Humphreys heads away. And Harrison should clear. And that is the end of that highlight. We just need a half of no real action and we should have this in the bag. Next goal will probably kill the tie off though if we can get it. Here is Baines now though to Maloney. Back to Baines down his left hand side. I do like having a left footed centre back and a left footed wing back on that side. It really does open the pitch up. Here is Maloney. Long range pass. McFarlane. Oh, misses a 1 on 1. That's a couple of 1 on 1s we've had this game. We could have killed this game off a lot earlier. We demand some more from the boys and try and make sure we if we don't let up. Don't let up at all in this game because Telford are dangerous and the goal that they scored in the last leg proved it. Another little spell with no highlights, but here is Zito. That's a poor ball to Sahara. Sahara towards Zito. We're just playing it from centre-back to centre-back right there. Calder. Oh, Maritz has stolen it. And Maritz is half away. Can he go all the way? The shot slash cross is kind of blocked and muffled away. Aho keeps it alive. Ball back into Maric. Anna Maric with his 19th goal of the season. A great cross from Nelson Aho. Great work to keep the ball alive. And that should be that. 2-0 up in this game. 4-1 in aggregate. And it's all down to Aho and Maric. Great little work by both of them. And let's make another sub. Let's try and just kill the game off a little bit now. Who's tired? Who wants to come off maybe? Let's take Sahara off. Bring the Ferguson on. 
the more experienced, wise wing back on the pitch just to try and control the final few minutes of this game. Now I feel like we're comfortable. Maloney, great little steal. Ball over the top. McFarlane, he doesn't miss that one. Carl McFarlane has made it 3 now. We have battered Telford in the second half. Maloney's passing has really helped us out this half. I've just, that's one thing Ben doesn't do. He doesn't play them long balls. And Maloney's stolen it there. And as soon as he sees McFarlane is off, he's played it. And that really has helped us beat this Telford side. He's had to come more and more aggressive to try and win this game and try and get themselves back into it. And they've just opened up the gaps behind their defence. And our pacey strikers will use all of that gap to our advantage. Team instructions is the button I'm trying to look for. There we go. Let's try and shut the game down now. We don't need to be playing around with anything. Let's take the pressure off the team. There's no need to make them run their asses off because we've got this in the bag. Bar a miracle. 5-1 up in this tie. With a good 20 minutes to play, you could say. But I'm very confident in the lads from now. Here's Ferguson with the free kick. Oh, he smashed it in top bins as well off the substitute bench. David Ferguson with a carbon copy from the last game before. The game that you didn't see, the free kick in that game was a cracking free kick into top bins. This one's another one. David Ferguson beats O'Brien from a good, what's that, 20, 25 yards? Cracking effort by Ferguson. And we are in utter party mode right now. The league looks wrapped up. We've won the first cup, and then we're into another cup final by all the accounts, bar an absolute miracle in this game. So the lower league treble is on. Marich has a little blast from range. He wants to get he wants to get his hat trick. I don't blame the lad. Go on, Marich, have another dig. Keep going, so keep going. So yeah, the the lower league the non-league treble is on. Can we go and do it though? That is the question for the rest of this season. I'm also trying to hunt down some some records. Just looking at Marich, just looking at his stats. He's, he, he he is a good player, but there is a little bit of doubt in my mind when it comes to him at League 2. Here's Scott. Chance for Telford to get a consolation goal. What a cracking block that is. Who are you? Who just made that block? Ferguson. That's cracking. Absolutely love that, Ferguson. More of that, son. That's passion. At 4 nil up, he's still making that kind of block. Here's Scott. Maloney. Oh, it's a great opportunity to release Aho. Oh, he's played the ball one way. Aho's made a different run the other way. That's just... Uh, it's just unlucky, boys. Lack of chemistry. It's unlucky. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's unlucky, though. Baines. Ball over the top. Aho is half away here. Can he finish it? Oh, my word. It's five. We've made Telford look really, really bad at our ground in the second half. They were good for, like, three quarters of this overall tie. First game, they were very, very good and kept us honest. First half, yet again, very good and kept us honest. This second half, we have battered them. We have been brutal. We have been absolutely destructive. Oh, don't go concede now, though. Get, get the clean sheet for OJ. Oh, oh, my word. That was a good header. That was very close indeed, that was. Last few minutes, hopefully no more real highlights. Here's Egan Riley. Don't concede, boys. Oh, it's a good ball down the line, and Jones is half away. Jones, can he get the ball into the box? He does. Harrison shoots. Oh. We've given them plenty of opportunities in this game. They just haven't really taken any of them, which is good for us. Baines, back to OJ. We're just going back to passing it around the back four, are we, boys? Oliver. Ashada says no. I've had enough of that and launches it forward. Straight to their fullback, Riley. Go on. Oh, Aho. You should have got that. You sh you yeah, it was Aho. Yeah, you should have definitely got and got that ball. That was there for the winnings if you wanted. Oh, marriage. There's no need for that, is there? It's a silly free kick to give away that. <laughs> and marriage can't help it. He's just so aggressive. He just wants the ball all the time. Harrison. Last chance for Telford to get a goal, maybe. Jones to Burgess. Out wide to Zimba. Back to Riley. Now Burgess again. It's good football by them. They just haven't done any, haven't created any clear-cut opportunities, really. And that's been the tone of their game. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. What do I say about that? 5-0 in the second leg. 7-1 on aggregate. That is cracking. Absolutely adored that. Just congratulations. You're in the final, boys. The treble is on. I'm so buzzing for the treble. Let's... Let's shout at the defence say well done because you've got a clean sheet. I always like to praise the defence if they get a clean sheet. Well, it looks like we'll be playing Northampton Town in the final. Let's um let's see if we can find out when that game is. 15th of May. Is that the end of the season? Scrolly, 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 scrolly. That is oh wow, that is the end of the season. So I have a lot of games to play off screen. And then we will be back for the Northampton game in the final to see if we can complete the treble. So, yeah, I will catch you there. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you very much. Uh, like and subscribe and all that for Jazzle if you want. If you don't, you don't. That's fine with me. And as always, guys, peace out.